Heyo, donkeys and Lippier. This tool is the most useful thing for any streamer bot user. Also, spoiler alert, you can use this for other programs too. If you want to do something a little more advanced in streamer bot, such as changing filter settings and, well, just look at this list of things that can be done with OBS WebSocket. The StreamerBot team have created an incredible tool that will let you easily make advanced OBS requests to do some unimaginable things to your stream. So before we get into it, tap that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any life-changing streaming content. It also will help me out massively with that darn algorithm so I can keep making this content for you. Let's get into this bad boy. Put your rock in with a stone. So Streamerbot is one of the most powerful tools in the streaming world. If you haven't used Streamerbot yet, I have actually got a playlist of videos that I keep adding to about that. I will leave it up here and in the description. Did I mention it's completely free too? It also works perfectly with OBS 28 and WebSocket 5. Do you know what plugin also works perfectly with OBS 28? Today's video sponsor owned.pro. This portion of the video has been sponsored by owned.pro. Owned.pro have every single thing that you could possibly need for your stream in one place. It even goes above and beyond having actually partnered with Epidemic Sound for all your royalty free music and sounds. You can also get access to over 600 overlays and alert packages. And you know what's even better? You can save yourself an absolute beastly 50% off using offer code Andy50Pro and all purchases will help Help the channel out massively. All the links are in the description. Thanks own.pro for sponsoring this portion of the video. Inside of Streamerbot, you will notice when you add an action, then a sub action, there are only certain available selections. OBS WebSocket can do so many more things that aren't here. This is why there is the raw selection. If we click that, you will be greeted by a completely blank box that we need to write code into. But wait, this is where the tool comes in. We don't actually need to know how to code at all. Just jump to this link. I will leave it in the description. If you have OBS and Streamerbot open, it should connect automatically. If not, you need to make sure your host, port and password match what your Streamerbot is connected to. You can check this by opening Streamerbot, going to Stream Apps, then right clicking your OBS connection and pressing Edit. Put these details into the OBS Raw website and press Connect. You should see at the top it says Connected and it will display which versions of everything you are using too. Now the fun can begin. If you see on the left there are all the different things we can do with OBS WebSocket such as getting OBS stats, changing filter settings, well, pretty much anything. For my example, I'll be changing filter settings as I use this the most. We can use this handy search at the top to find the input that we want. When it's selected, it will change the form on the right hand side. In OBS, I have a single color source and I'll put a color correction filter on it. We could choose any of these settings, but I'm going to use the opacity as it's very simple. Going back to the Streamerbot website, we can select parameter one and choose which source we want to select. Select. I'll choose color source. Then we can choose the name of the filter. As you can see, since this is connected to OBS, it will stay up to date with any new changes. Then we have the tricky bit. We need to fill out this JSON, JSON value. Uh, this is basically what we want the filter settings to be changed to. Every time you quote a setting, it will have to have speech marks wrapping it like this. So I'll type in opacity since that is the field I want to change, then colon, then the number I want to change it to. As you'll see, I'm getting an error saying this format is not right. This is because we need to wrap the entire command in the curly brackets. Now the error is gone and we can press send request. This will send that filter change to OBS. As you can see now, the opacity is now at zero. We can go back to the Streamerbot website and change it again, then send the request. I'm such a noob and forgot the opacity filler only goes from zero to one. Standard Andy. I'll do one more test, but changing the value to 0.5, then pressing send request. It now says 0.5 in OBS. Easy, right? Now getting this command into the Streamerbot app is even easier. 
Just press the copy OBS raw button at the bottom of the website, go back to the Streamerbot app and paste it into the big blank box. It will look a little funky, but we can press format to make it easy to read. Slide over to the left and voila, you've made a custom OBS command. Give it a name. You can also press test if you want to be triple sure it works, then press OK. Now, anytime we run this Streamerbot action, it will change the opacity to 0.5. If we want to do adjust more than one setting, we can just edit the JSON command on the website. Just type a comma after the command we wrote, but before the curly bracket, press enter, then write your next command. I will change the brightness to minus one. So again, open quote, brightness, closed quote, then colon and the number. I'll also change the opacity to one. Hit send request and boom, easy peasy. My semi-transparent white square is now completely solid and black. Probably not the best test to do on a black canvas. Standard Andy. We can then copy the OBS raw and paste it into Streamerbot into another command if we want to. As you can see, this is an incredibly powerful tool that is only limited by your imagination. There are some important things to note though. If you are changing a setting that isn't a number, you will also have to wrap that in quotes as well. You can also use Streamerbot variables too if you really want to take it next level. You know, like letting users change the color of your overlay or or something like that. If you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. Another thing to know is the JSON commands aren't always as easy as just type in opacity or brightness. Things like the move transition filters have full stops or underscores in them. An easy way to check the command name is by using Exceldro source copy plugin. I have a video up here and in the description. You can then press tools, go to source copy, search for the source, then the filter you want to change and press copy filter. You can then paste this in a notepad or a website to easily read JSON. Then search for the parameter you want to change. Then you can use the same format on the Streamerbot website and voila! You are now a certified pro Streamerbotter. If you are noticing there aren't some commands that you want to do in that list, make sure to share this with the Streamerbot team on Discord as they are very courteous and helpful. They will do the best to fix any issues and add anything that will improve quality of life. Something I would love to know is what is the most advanced thing you have made in OBS with Streamerbot? Let me know in the comments below and even leave me a link. You might get showcased on a future video. A big thanks to all the people that helped me make this content free for you. You can also join these legends by joining either Coffee or Patreon as it will go a huge way to support in the channel. A big huge shout out to Bongo, Fever Team, Marcus Vasquez, and also Romulus Souza for being my top supporters. I couldn't do this without you guys. If you want to see the video I did on Exceldro Source Copy plugin, then click here. And if you want to see my playlist for everything streamer bot, tap here. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.